welcome back. So today I am gonna be recreating Rihanna's Vogue look that she put out last week. I went to Sephora, who do I think I am? Not very sure. So I brought the products that um, were at Sephora, but a lot of the products that she used aren't out yet. So we're gonna make do with what we have, with what Sephora has. So let's get started. I primed my face already because in the video she just goes straight into foundation. Um, so I wanted to go straight into foundation with you guys. Let's do it. I hope you're ready. I'm gonna start with the foundation. So I like to get messy with it. This I just like because it's like a safe bet. It's consistent. Okay, that's only half of my face. Everybody was talking about how um, the foundation that Rihanna used was like definitely not her color. And I was like, first of all, she's not gonna set herself up. Um, so let's just wait until the final product is done, okay? I can do my makeup in 10 minutes or 10 hours, it feels like, sometimes. Yeah, more like Depends on what kind of day you're having and how much in a rush you really are. Now that we have the foundation on, let's continue watching. My next step is gonna be a little bit of contour. Mocha here, to contour right here. Very important to contour your face for your face, not the way you see on every YouTube tutorial, because everybody has a different shape. I have a huge forehead, so I like to go in a little deeper down here. With the hide that. You know what I'm saying? Very important to go into the hairline too, because I hate to see that that white line between your Ooh. forehead and your hair. You should just blend in naturally. And up and down the nose. Contour always starts off looking absolutely crazy. Hide that double chin. I always want to do a triangle when you're doing a contour under there. Give you that whole long neck situation, it just disappears. Okay, Rihanna, like, I just learned something new today. Make a triangle. Let's just see what the final product looks like, okay? I might have put a, um, a little too much. What do you guys think? Y'all may not be like, uh, yeah, duh. Mind your business. I mean, other than the fact that um, I look like, you know, I just got sunburned. It's okay. We're going to fix it. I learned how to contour. I've actually never used liquid products for contouring. Real handy. If this is your first time as well, comment down below and let me know how that went. Cause obviously, whew. I always want to do a triangle when you're doing a contour under there. Give you that whole long neck situation. It just disappears. Concealer? This I actually oh, like to okay. warm up Concealer. first. All right, Concealer. Riri. You over here wasting product on your hand. Okay, y'all know my diva. But whatever, I'm just following what she does, so let's go. That's more than way enough warming, okay? Okay, one little and swipe. Like one little swipe. Okay, she said one little swipe, so look at me. I'm like, one, two, three. That's how I got in trouble with the um contour in the first place, swiping too much. Everybody knows concealers made for hiding bags and dark circles and hangovers and bad decisions. All right here, the cure. I don't usually use a um, day -to -day -to concealer. Really depends on my mood. But? It depends on the occasion. It depends on how lazy I'm feeling. But I might day, start. How much in a rush I am. Hello. You know, okay. who I'm going to see. <laughs> so it hard. all determines. I what think that I have to apply so much I because do. it's I like I don't know actually why I have to apply so much. I'm gonna grab from here. My nose because I'm a little sunburnt yeah. right now, so I have a little redness there. Straight up. So now we have the invisible because things can get out of control. I use this 
powder to set my contour, mm -hmm. to set my makeup, mm -hmm. to blot. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is looking. I should have been on this wave like I can never leave last year, okay? Because this is looking pretty natural. It's a little bit. So I'm gonna use a little bit of bronzer. So she doesn't say what bronzer she uses. And maybe it's coming out, um, you know, later on for the Fenty Beauty line. So I'm going to use my favorite, the Hula bronzer. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm just gonna be putting a little bit on here. I don't wanna look all. All sunburn. I said light, lightly, light, lightly. This is not light. To elongate the neck. I think this is where it's gonna throw me off because I have such dark eyebrows and she has such light eyebrows. So I don't know, we'll see. She didn't do her eyebrows on camera, so I'll be back. Brows. And next, I am gonna use the same bronzer and warm up my eyes a little bit. You can see my eyes start to come to life a little bit. See that? I have been watching women do makeup. I mean, since my mom. Actually, if you've seen my um started working my makeup recently, makeup like whether you're on my Instagram or whatever the case may be, so this is actually what I'm doing. I'm using my bronzer as my eyeshadow because I'm trying to do like a more natural look. So you have to practice on Yes, Rihanna knows. She knows things that you can do better. Okay. I think we're good. What do you think? Yeah? Okay. It looks good in the mirror. In a mirror. Okay. When I found out that this was not a an eyeshadow that was out, I was so mad. I was like asking everybody, I was like, is you have beach please, beach please, beach please, beach please? No one had it. So then I was like, oh, it hasn't come out yet. Okay. So listen, when this comes out, oh my God, I'm pre-ordering it. So it is so beautiful. And I don't usually do colors on my eyes. I do just natural stuff, but this is so pretty. So since I don't have it, and since you don't either, I'm just gonna use something else. The closest thing I have to that would be Harajuku from my Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette. But it has a lot of fallout, so yeah. I guess let's see how it works. I'm gonna start with the pink on the lids because it says summer, sunset. Love, drama, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is, but you know, I don't have the correct product. So until I have the correct product, it's not gonna look correct. I'm gonna mix punk and zone from my Urban Decay palette. I always like to warm up underneath my eyes, give it a little definition. What kind of day I'm having really determines how I'm going to apply this. Most days you just want to go right by the lash line. But like a day like today where I've barely had any sleep, you want to get all those little bags right there. But the creases, they, they show up. Blush is also something that depends on your mood. You know, sometimes you're trying to give a little natural vibe, you have a little bronze, like a little hint. And then sometimes you just want to go ape, like like right now. Like I want to give you guys a vibe. And my vibe for summer is more is more. I want to try some of this. Now she puts on the highlight, which we don't have either. So I got Girl Next Door and Cheek Freak. I've been using this really like cool brush, which I like to call my shark tooth brush, but it's a cheek hugging brush. It's made perfectly for your cheek. Mmm, see that? And I can get really carried away when it comes to highlight. I really good. I layer highlighters all the time. There's a technique to it. You just have to figure out 
what kind of look you're going for. And the colors need to make sense together and blend together. This is like, whoa, this is giving me my life right now. Highlight my nose bridge with the same brush. I'm gonna try to finesse this little part right here. I like to do the corner of my eyes because it gives you a little <sighs> zest or oomph, as a lot of people like to call it. Look at that. Okay, so I felt like that took way too long. So now, lashes. In my attempt to do my lashes, that didn't work. So, since my lash lady isn't home, we went with mascara. Lips. So, I am going to go in with space suit. See, it's kind of pink, but it's definitely not the one that she has. Look at that. So, there you have it. This is the final look, and this is what I could get with the products that I did find in stores. Um, everything that I didn't find or I didn't use has not been released yet, except for the body lava. Okay. I had to, I had to set a limit for myself, and that was just a limit. I am so excited for the purple and the orange. Oh God, I can't wait. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, Thank Us Later consists of me, Natalie, and my best friend, Simone. So make sure you click that subscribe button to be updated with all of our videos. Actually, right now, I think there's an Amazon gift card giveaway going on. Make sure I'll tell you the link down below and you guys can go ahead and enter. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty, no, I'm not, that's not what I'm doing. <laughs>